The term mediation reality was defined by one of the godfathers of wearable technology, Steve Mann, as a general framework for artificial modification of human perception by way of devices for augmenting, deliberately diminishing, and more generally for otherwise altering sensory input. These dynamic computer processing devices include handheld or head-mounted displays such as a smartphone or Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. Mediated reality is an umbrella term which collectively groups together realities such as augmented reality, augmented virtuality, mixed reality, virtual reality, and also modulated reality and modulated virtuality. These realities will be explained shortly. The need for me to give this presentation about mediated reality stems from a problem which I encountered earlier in my master's studies. I found that in both academia and popular culture, there seemed to be no consistent term which collectively describes all of these different realities. Milgram and Cascino developed a framework to describe these realities in 1994, and Mann added a few important additions to this framework in 2002, including the actual term mediated reality. However, this was 15 years ago, long before our recent technological advances in the way of mediated reality, and while man's contribution to Milgram and Cascino's framework is critical to understanding the concept as a whole, there seems to be a few holes in this proposed framework, which is unfortunate because man's framework is still widely considered the most authoritative and accurate representation of mediated realities to date. The purpose of this video is to provide a more accurate analysis of the mediated reality framework. Therefore, the framework which is presented in this video expands on the fundamental ideas and principles which were originally proposed by Mann, Milgram, and a few others. To understand mediated reality, we must first begin with Milgram and Cascino's reality-virtuality continuum. The reality-virtuality continuum can be understood as a continuous scale ranging from the completely real on the left to the completely virtual on the right. The completely real is what we all know and understand as reality. In mediated reality, we call reality the real environment. Virtual reality, on the other end of the continuum, is a completely artificial, computer-generated environment. The first reality on the continuum after the real environment is augmented reality. Augmented reality can be understood as primarily the real environment with some additional virtual information added to the user's view. Next on the continuum, after augmented reality, is augmented virtuality. As opposed to augmented reality, which refers to reality augmented by graphics, Milgram and Cascino define augmented virtuality as graphics augmented or emulated by reality. Augmented virtuality describes all cases where aspects of the real environment are inserted into a computer-generated environment. To help differentiate between augmented reality and augmented virtuality, in 1995, Milgram and Cascino, with the help of Takamura and Utsumi, composed a set of questions. Is the environment being observed principally real with added computer-generated enhancements, or is the surrounding environment principally virtual but augmented through the use of enhancements from the real world? If the first question answer is true, then the reality can be assumed to be principally augmented reality, while if the second answer is true, the reality can be assumed as principally augmented virtuality. Mixed reality is a term which refers to all realities between the real environment and virtual reality. Therefore, it includes augmented reality, augmented virtuality, as well as any combination of these. It is the merging of real and virtual worlds to produce new environments and visualizations where physical and digital objects coexist and interact in real time. The reality-virtuality continuum therefore includes all realities which augment or add to the real environment. This virtual addition to reality can be understood as virtuality. But what about realities which subtract from the real environment? Perhaps the least well-known, least understood and least developed category of realities in the mediated reality framework is modulated reality. The meaning of the word modulated or modularity can change somewhat depending on the context and area of study. However, in the context of mediated reality, it refers to objects or aspects of the real environment that are modified or deliberately diminished through the use of computer processing. Often this occurs through the process of removing or separating objects or aspects of the real environment and then recombining them in order to diminish or modify the user's perception of reality. Modularity, or modulated reality, in the most general sense, is the direct opposite 
of virtuality. Placing modularity on the continuum horizontal to virtuality works in a theoretical sense, providing that realities on the modularity axis cannot be combined with realities on the virtuality axis. However, this is not the case. To denote realities which include aspects of both modularity and virtuality, we must alter this continuum so that the modularity axis is placed vertically. The continuum can now be referred to as a taxonomy. When placed vertically, a new type of reality is introduced. This reality could be a combination of most forms of modularity and most forms of virtuality. This new type of reality is therefore called modulated virtuality. There is one exception when combining modularity and virtuality. In a theoretical sense, it is not possible for virtual reality to include aspects of modulated reality and vice versa. This is because modulated reality is defined as diminishing or modifying the real environment. Since virtual reality is defined as being a fully virtual environment with no aspects of the real environment, if one wanted to merge virtual reality and modulated reality, they would first have to reduce or take away some aspects of virtual reality. Therefore, what they would actually be doing is merging augmented virtuality and modulated reality. The same principle applies to cases of modulated reality that are so severely modulated that they no longer include any aspects of the real environment. This is simply because if virtuality were added to this version of severely modulated reality, it would no longer qualify as modulated reality. Instead, it would be considered virtual reality. So one could argue that when a virtual reality headset is turned off, the user is experiencing a state of non-computer mediated, severely modulated reality, whereas when the headset is turned on, the user experiences a state of virtual reality. To get a better understanding of this concept, we can expand our modularity axis to include modified and diminished reality. Here we can see that severely modulated reality and virtual reality cannot interact with their perpendicular counterparts. We can also see that modified reality and diminished reality are types of realities within modulated reality in a similar way to how augmented reality and augmented virtuality are realities within mixed reality. This diagram is the taxonomy of mediated reality. All of these realities are mediated realities. I will now discuss the changes which I have made in the taxonomy of mediated reality from man's taxonomy of reality, virtuality, mediality. Firstly, we can see that I've changed man's mediality axis to the modulated reality axis. This seems impractical and confusing to use a synonym of mediated for an axis which should describe modularity. It also seems strange that man even makes the visual implication that modularity should have its own axis in his Venn diagram illustrating mediated reality. After changing the name of this axis and how the graph is arranged, it becomes much clearer as to how the realities within the mediated reality framework sit in relation to one another. Man's Venn diagram did a much better job of visually representing mediated reality than his taxonomy of reality, virtuality, mediality. However, it still missed out a few important details. These details include the representation of where the real environment sits in relation to mediated reality. He also left out augmented virtuality and modulated virtuality. Consequently, I have developed a Venn diagram to more accurately represent our current understanding of mediated reality. To finish this video, I will quickly provide a visual representation of each reality in the mediated reality framework. Starting at the bottom left and covering the virtuality axis is the full real environment with no aspects of either virtuality or modularity. Then there is augmented reality, which is primarily the real environment with some aspects of virtuality. Next is augmented virtuality, which is primarily the virtual environment with some aspects of the real environment. Last on the virtuality axis is virtual reality, which is the full virtual environment with no aspects of the real environment. Mixed reality denotes both augmented reality, augmented virtuality, or any combination of these. First on the modularity axis is modified reality, which is primarily the real environment with some aspects modified. Next comes diminished reality, which is primarily the real environment with some aspects deliberately diminished. Lastly on the modularity axis is severely modulated reality, which is a severely modulated environment with no aspects of the real environment. Modulated reality denotes modified reality, diminished reality, or any combination of these. Finally, there is modulated virtuality, which is a combination of both virtuality and modularity. 
Since modulated reality and mixed reality are terms used to collectively describe sub-realities, one can use their imagination to decide what these realities would look like based on this visual representation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.